Hi everybody, it's Deb from the Apple Tree. And today I'm going to be doing a chalk couture project. Um, I am going to put some fall leaves on the back of a trivet here that I had picked up at a local store for a dollar. Um, I've already used my X-Acto knife here to take off and pry off the little plastic legs that are on there or feet to keep it from sliding so I took those off and I'm going to glue them back on with some 600 glue that's pretty powerful stuff uh, after I'm all done baking it in the oven because I, I didn't want these to melt because they are just plastic so I'll put that over here on the side I'll put my exacto knife over here and there's um, like a textured side to the glass and a smooth side. So I'm going to put my ink uh, chocotour stencil or transfer on the smooth side of the trivet. And, and the reason that I chose the leaves is because, of course, if I put words on here, when you turn it around, the words are going to be reversed. So I'm just going to pick something simple, a picture like this that um, won't you won't be able to tell if it's backwards or not once I put it on there. So let's take them out of the package here. And I'm going to go with the um, go with the maple leaf or maybe the small one because I think I want to do three of them on there and um, kind of create a circle I guess of leaves so we'll cut that out and put this over here for now. Okay, then the next step is, remember we take the transfer off the backing, top to bottom, side to side, never corner to corner like this because what will happen is you will stretch this silk screen part of the transfer. I don't know if you can see through there or not. That's a silk screen. And that's what gives the um, detail of these transfers when you use them. So now we have the smooth side. First, I need to fuzz this up, almost forgot. I'm gonna use an old towel, dish towel that I have here. As you can see, it's pretty sticky when you first pull it off the backing. So you wanna put some fuzz on it to tone down that stickiness, especially on glass because it'll adhere pretty tightly to the glass. So I think what I will do is one, do one, two, and three. So we'll go like this. Try to figure out where their center is. It's going to be about there. Nope, and it's not sticking to the glass that well. Not as tightly as I thought, but I'll rub it on. Okay, and I'm going to use ink for this because um, that way, if someone should put this in the dishwasher, once the ink is cured, it, it won't come off in the in the water. A lot, um, our chalk pastes are water soluble, so if they're not sealed, um, and you run them through through the water, they they will wipe away. So that's the benefit of the ink is that it's permanent. I'm going to use our glitter gold. Isn't that pretty? It's got a lot of glitter in it. Let's 
and use my stick here and stir it around a little bit. Ooh, that's such a nice consistency. Okay. And I will grab my squeegee. Make sure you don't have ink all over your fingers because you don't want it all over the, your project or all over your clothes. And I will wipe this on. Trying not to get ink everywhere. So the weather here in Wisconsin today, it's um, Saturday, August, uh, what day is it? The 4th. Um, very hot and humid here today. It's pretty miserable outside. So I'm indoors in my studio making crafts with the air conditioning on. And then we kind of scrape away the excess and put it back in the tub. And I will pull up the transfer. And there we have one leaf. Now because this doesn't dry as quickly, I can reuse this again without needing to wash it first. So I will put another leaf. My head's not in your way. Looks pretty good. And we will rub that out. And get all the bubbles out. And I will take my squeegee again. And run the ink through the silk screen. Whoops, it went off the transfer a little bit there. And I'm just kind of layering it on to make sure that it gets good coverage. The excess back into my jar and peel that away. And I will quickly wipe up that extra blob I got there with a little wet wipe. I don't want that curing on there. I got it. Okay. I thought this would be a nice fall project. I know it's a little early yet for fall, but we all know it's coming. <laughs> okay. Let's take that transfer and I'm going to use it one more time. And put it this way. down nice and put 
some more ink on there. Sorry about the quiet. I'm concentrating. <laughs> Sometimes I can't concentrate and talk at the same time. <laughs> all right. Make sure we get all that ink off my fingers here. And we will peel this one up. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at all the detail in those leaves. I'm going to stick this in my water bath on the side over here. Get that ink off of there and let it sit for a little bit. And I see I made a little glob over here, so I'll quick wipe that off. And a little globby right there. Yep, looks good. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. It's a little off center, but not a big deal. Next time I'll measure. <laughs> a little bit more. You see the detail in those leaves? Isn't that neat? And now, like I said, this is the Couture ink. So what I'm gonna do is let this dry overnight, make sure it's nice and dry. And then um, tomorrow, with some of my other ink projects that I'm gonna be working on this evening, um, I'm gonna put that into the oven. And you put it into the oven while it's cold turn the temperature up to 350 degrees and um, leave that sit in there until it hits the 350. When it hits the 350, you leave it in for 30 minutes, I believe. You might want to check me on that one because I'm not certain on the time, but I think it's 30 minutes. And then um, turn the oven off and let it cool down in the oven. Once it's all cooled down, then you can pull it out of the oven and it, it'll be set for you. So it'll be nice and um, water safe. So there you have it. And then when I'm done with that, then I will take the little feet that it came with and glue those back onto the corners. And this is what it'll look like from the other side. I don't know how well you can see that. That's going to look pretty sharp. All right, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial today on fall leaves on a trivet. Thanks, and I'll see you again next time.